to take note of answers, Senator Seabrook. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. I um, rise to take notice of uh, Senator Firefield's Minister for, uh, Min Assistant Minister for Social Services' response to my question on the cashless healthy welfare card. And it's quite obvious that the government does intend rolling this card out. It is nothing short of a rollout and extension of income management. Nobody should make any mistake about that, because what the idea is is that it, the whole of someone's income will be subject to this so-called cashless card. Let's just skip over the bit about how taking away somebody's decision-making over their whole of their income disempowers people and the fact that cash plays an essential part of the economy in low-income communities and, also, and particularly in Aboriginal communities. Let's roll over that bit. But then let's look at what did the minister use as the evidence that this works. It was written in the Twiggy Forest Manifesto, so it must work. What a lot of nonsense. A billionaire has some thought bubbles and all of a sudden that's evidence that income management works, completely ignoring the reports and evaluations that show that it is not working, completely ignoring the fact or the minister wasn't able to, uh, to answer the question as to whether the final report on the evaluation of the new income management has actually been submitted to government and, and the government has in fact taken those recommendations on board or the comments on board, whatever they may be. But if it's anything like the first report, the first evaluation report um, of the new income management. It certainly didn't show that income management is a glowing success or it's worth the millions and millions of dollars that is expended on it. The cost per person for income management is astronomical. Twiggy Forrest's report says that we should, we should get the banks to be doing this, not the government. Well, is the bank are banks going to do it for nothing? I don't think so. Who will that cost? The government or the person receiving um, the, the pleasure, in adverted commas, of being income management? In other words, the lowest, some of the lowest, or in fact the lowest um, income people in our community, the most vulnerable members of our community. And the government didn't answer my question as to who they're thinking they're rolling it out to, but a, but a media report, obviously based on, again, Sources from the government um, says that um, it could be rolled out to at-risk people, to long-term unemployed people, as if just because you're long-term unemployed you can't manage your money, jobless families and some young people. Um, and this is to promote uh, to ensure spending is on a healthy lifestyle. There's no evidence to suggest that income management does lead to a healthy lifestyle for a start. But then who's opinion will those decisions be made? Who will make the decision on what is essential services, what is essential goods and what is a healthy lifestyle? Will a bank do that? Will a government bureaucrat do that? Will Twiggy Forrest do that since he has apparently such a brilliant idea about having a healthy welfare card that's to be rolled out to people so that they can have a healthy lifestyle? Income management is degrading, humiliating to people, and that's not just my words. Those are the words that people living income management use. The whole idea when the Howard government originally came up with income management was supposedly to assist people to learn how to manage their money, and then they would um, move off income management. Well, more than seven years later, those same people that are being subjected to the humiliating, degrading income management are still being income managed. It costs thousands of dollars per person. Over those seven years, imagine how we could have spent that money and, and actually assisted people to actually overcome the barriers to disadvantage, the barriers uh, to employment, the disadvantage that they're suffering. If we had invested that money in, in positive incentives to help people instead of penalising people, we would, I, I think that we would have had um, some of the issues that we're still dealing with. Um, uh, uh, we would have been able to address those and put in place positive incentives. Instead of now, the cuts that are being made to I mean, in particular to uh, programs that support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. This uh, healthy welfare card is, will not assist people out of disadvantage. It will not assist people to find employment. It is de degrading to people to imply that just because you have not been able to find a job that you cannot manage your money. 
Income management entrenches dependency. It does not encourage people to be able to take control of their own decision making. It will become yet another barrier to employment. This is a ruse to roll out income management across the whole of Australia to anybody on income support. Make no mistake of it. That is what this government is considering. They are considering you, an Senator extensive Seawolf. rollout. The, your time has expired. The question is the